Hello, hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Freddy Avalos and this is Traveling with Freddy. Okay, I am a tour guide, tour director, travel director, expedition leader, trip leader, tour leader. So it's a lot of those different names I use when I lead my groups to uh, Machu Picchu, the Amazon, Inca Trail and everywhere. So on this side, I want to recommend what you should take for your trip to the Inca Trail. But not only the Inca Trail, also to Machu Picchu, so depends. I have clients, they are uh, 60, 70 uh, years around. Uh, what helped to them is to have a uh, good equipment. For example, the, uh, the walking sticks. So if you go to the Inca Trail, the steps are steep, it rains or it can be muddy. It's a really good idea to take walking sticks to the Inca Trail. And for my dear fellows, you're coming to Peru, and with me on these groups that is in bus and all of that and you are in the 70s around so what you can do is also to take a walking stick from home or you can buy here in Peru in Cusco in the Secret Valley the cost is like ten dollars only be careful when you pull the parts because if you pull too much these China made walking sticks can drop some pieces and you won't use anymore and you need to throw away so in that way, from home, there are uh, walking sticks that actually you can fold in several parts. This is the way how you can use the walking stick. 90 degrees is more or less as you can see in the picture. That's how high it has to be the walking stick. My recommendation, practice at home in your parks, somewhere just before you come here. So in that way you have enough train. If not, in Lima, you can practice. Somebody will see you with a walking stick and says what he's doing, but you are practicing before you go to Machu Picchu. That's a really good recommendation also that you can do, okay? And you can see the rubber tip is what you need for Machu Picchu or the other ruins in Cusco. They won't let you go in with your walking sticks if that thing has the rubber tip. And uh, this is just more or less the parts in the walking stick, okay? But this is the one I prefer. You can fold in four parts, and if you can see, doesn't pull apart because it has the rope, the string attached each part, as you can see. And also can fit perfectly in a small backpack, in a day pack, okay? So that is very good. The backpack is important also, that has many pockets, especially where to put a bottle of water. That is really, really important. Uh, hydration is really important here okay and a good backpack if you are going to the Inca Trail okay so you have to think that you need a proper hiking or trekking backpack or day pack okay you go to to the store where you can buy a good one I love the Osprey it's just a, not a propaganda so no bad Spain this YouTube is has very few people following and in that way it's my idea is only to help you to know how to bring what to bring and uh, what to do when you are here in Peru and you can see the back side of the backpack for me if you're doing the hikes has to have the net between your back and the back side of the backpack the reason why because it's breathable otherwise you will sweat a lot and that goes sometimes goes down and your pan get wet from the backs it's it's not really comfortable i don't really recommend that so that's a really good quality and the way it should be also on the sides the straps so everything can distribute the weight so that's the good characteristic of good walking uh, good backpacks okay and also they are they have the ring uh, the rain cover okay that you can protect everything inside. So that's important, okay? I will go back in these pictures because the equipment, so good t-shirts, bread bowl, the pants like this. So in the case of the ladies also, it's much better because sometimes when people wear shorts, it's the dust, so, or maybe a plant with thorn, or maybe that's not really a good idea. So it's better to use long pants okay and the rain coats it's also if you have the rain coats that is very thin okay sometimes you get wet why because you are wearing that over 
your t-shirts or something like that and you are hiking you are warm and the temperature outside is cold because it's raining and it's windy so you're gonna get wet inside and why is that because it's just straight to your body but if you have this a uh, type of jacket that has a net inside that has a layer also inside that's going to avoid that that, that moisture it's gonna go against your body so that's gonna protect that is gonna be more breathable in other words that's really important in my experience i have both so the other one is almost new because i prefer to use the one is a bit heavier but has another layer that allow me to be dry and well protected okay and also you can use pants like this if it's too hot you just remove and if it's not really dusty and not you you are not doing a hiking so it's good you just remove the legs and it's more breathable, more comfortable. But if you're in Machu Picchu, there are a lot of mosquitoes. I don't recommend because you can get a lot of mosquitoes bites. Machu Picchu, there are a few mosquitoes, but they are furious. They love you. They like new extra proteins. Okay, so, and they're gonna bite for sure. Doesn't matter how much insect repellent and how big deep has your insect repellent, they will go for you. So in that way, long pants in Machu Picchu, but in other places, if it's so hot, so you can wear like this, that will be fine. Shoes, really, really, really important, the shoes, okay? So in that way, you can see the sole has to be thick, has to be vibrant, is one of my type of soles I prefer because they are not slippery really, and the lacks, so has to be good lacks because for the good traction, okay? and the crampon connection so has to be hard so it's rain proof better because sometimes when you just bring any regular get wet and you don't have another one so i know that cost but maybe you do that expense to or invest f once for multiple trips that you're planning and you will be well protected because it rains so you will be covered if it's a uh, rainproof okay or waterproof that that's important and this is the idea to cover your ankles that's going up to cover your ankles but you prefer to use the other small ones like on this picture that is also good the important part are the lags in the soles okay so as you can see this other picture right so it's very very important the these features to have a comfortable shoes muy bien so that is part of the recommendation what to take to the inca trail backpacks good shoes waterproof better okay uh, pants uh, long pants better if it's breathable light pants something that's in weight and not like jeans for example if you're in inca trail and layers this kind of jacket pullovers so t-shirts and hat it's also important yeah voila and you will be well protected and the backpack also i hope i could help some this is a pleasure for me to describe a little bit what you need to bring when you are coming to the inca trail and anything else contact me thank you so much and have an excellent and wonderful day bye bye